What's up? Yeah. Looking good, man. We're getting close. Yuck. How's it going, folks? Uh, my name is Dan. Welcome back to the Forge and Dirt YouTube channel. Um, look what's here. <laughs> Forge and Dirt bumper stickers, baby. You can get them right now if you join the Facebook group. You can get in contact with me. I've got black and I've got white. It's going to look great on your car. It's going to look great on your truck, your cart. Um, whatever you got, it's going to look great on there. So uh, go ahead, hop in the Facebook group. Get in contact with me if you want one. They're going quick. Um, yeah. Get a hold of me. So here's the plan for this video. Um, you're gonna see a bunch of random clips kind of right after this one that are from like the last couple of weeks. I have had a couple times where I've been out to go film um, or I've been trying to film and we've just been working on stuff and I don't inevitably get any of the film that I want. Um, so I'm gonna put those in right now. <laughs> Have a Nissan Altima. Here's a sweet girl. I'm gonna get her going here. Got all the padding taken off. The seat. I'm gonna drop her down a little bit. Uh, my head's just too high in this thing, and you know, we think we have like two and a half inches of riser here, so we got some room to drop it. So I'll bring it down about an inch and see where that puts us. Drop the seat down about a, we drop it about a half an inch, an inch? Inch and a half. Inch and a half, totally wrong. Inch and a half on both sides there. All locked in. I'm gonna get the seat belt set, got the Hans on. Get all this stuff set. End of flashback. Pretty solid clips, you know, but uh, those were all on the old phone. And now I've got that, that new iPhone here, so uh, video quality is really heavily going to increase. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're on the road here. Uh, we're getting going down to Gaylord. Got, got some stuff to work on today. I'm actually going to take real quality video this time around. Um, so it's going to be a good one. Talk to you guys soon. Here. The sun is shining, we're getting close, man. The snow is melting. So we went down to uh, St. Louis. We came back the other way. Did you go down like through? Why don't you take some DeWalt's? We'll probably use the phone to just drop it and break them. That's better. That'll do. That might do. And the fire suppression system all wired up in here. Got a place back there. A 600 us, foot long cable. Yeah, they that gave us funny. about 600 feet of cable. Probably using it in like funny cars. Now we're gonna take the nuts and shit off the edge. Oh god. Airplane mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here doing fake work. Getting this off for Brock. As long as the uh, fire handle doesn't get caught on the freaking tube, we'll make sure it doesn't. So I'm glad there's a hole in there. Oh, I would think so. Rocket science right there. It's a steel wire. It's going to pull that pin out of there. 
Yeah. There's, there's a little hole right up here that it's got to go into. Yeah, right here. And I got that hard, uh, thing, or the, the set screws backed off, so I guess what we got to do is. Well, you don't pull, there's a pin, this pin stays in there. Okay? Yeah. Once this, once your wire's in there and through the back side, then you pull that pin and it lets the plunger pop up against that wire. Okay. And then when you pull, that wire comes out and the plunger pops. I don't think it's all out. That'll give the driver something. You can like sit there and look at that and decide what you want. See, where he's, as he's tar starting to puke. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. To start the race. Yep. <laughs> right as I'm dry heaving. Michael is just hilarious. Now we got to get this all yep. and, zip tied uh, in once there. Once we get to this point where we want to, we need to get you in there with your knees in position so we can bend those nozzles. Yeah, so you're up. Okay. And then we also have to put the, the knee guard in there because that's going to be part of the uh, okay. equation as well. Cool. It's a little update on things we've done. As you, obviously, we were talking about got that fire suppression system put in. We're finishing all that stuff up. We did drop the seat down a lot like how much was it again like inch and a half inch and a half on the seat there and then two spacers on the back of the seat so the seat is lower than it was before which brought my head down i, mean, I was pretty high in the seat safety obviously being a measure here um i think i'm as safe as i can be with the seat the way that it is now without being too crazy low um, being six foot three is not something that helps uh, in racing. Uh, this is the first sport I've ever been, been involved in where having height and size is not a plus. But we'll get it all figured out. And the other addition, as you can see, is the wing is actually on the car. It's probably the first time you've ever seen that. So she's on there now. We're going to get her propped up here. And we bought some new components for the tree here. So we'll get everything in. And uh, you'll see how that looks on the car. I'd like to put the body on today and just kind of have some things set up to get ready to get wrapped. So you'll actually see it. Pretty close to, to ready to go. Three wings. She looks real good with the wing on, man. <laughs> yeah, that man's cool. I think that. But I, a guy might be. What is the guy Wing all locked in, got the tree set up here. I usually have one on each side. Let's see if we can get it in close to one pull. Good luck. Yeah. That should work. Oh, that is part of the wrap. Oh, this is coming off like it is. So that panel's wrapped too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are black panels. Look at this. Yeah. Then look, once you get underneath that, and there's black. We'll just pull it up. Figured I'd just take it off the car, melt everything down. We'll get this off, get it ready for Brock. Neon Inc. LLC. If you need a wrap, hit them up. Come up on Facebook. There'll be a link in the description. It'll be the top link in the description. Uh, these boys are doing heavy work here. You know, they're motivated. This one needs to be rotated 180. Hi, Tisha. Hey, Tish. She's on the ground. looking good man i mean we're getting close once you get brock to to wrap this thing brock and neon ink to get this thing wrapped i might have to get a new wing before that happens she's gonna look she's gonna look great and i can tell you getting in this thing when it's on the ground whole different story way easier way easier well decided to take some time off from working on the cars to do hood look Muddy Mike, I'm already up. Look at that sunset. Beautiful.
and now after that debacle, we're going on to another debacle. Uh, Billy Johnson's birthday party. Get some clips of that here in a second, but then we're going back to the shop, so the video's not entirely over. Um, stick to him. Seeing things that I may never see again. Many hours later. We're back. Back in the shop. Told you we'd make it back at some point. Inevitably we did. It's just hard to end the night without being back here and looking at this beautiful thing. I think it looks so much better winged up too. It just, it's just a beautiful sight. This is pretty much what I do when I come here. I just sit in my car. my view that's what you'll be seeing well I'll be seeing it you will be seeing probably a GoPro angle of like here and then another GoPro angle like that but what I'll see is this so we did get the fire suppression system in so I have one that's pointed at the jewels one that's pointed down. Down at the fuel pump on my feet. It even tells you what it's for. Hopefully you don't have to use it though. Sitting in the student home Sharing stories now I sim and sipping sort of roam Walking like I've been talking the talk but can't afford a phone Trust I'm all alone panicking to play it safe This talk of paper chase is forcing me to stay awake Living this layer cake where others will say it's straight Say they got my back and that they're pregnant I'ma pave the way Like it's the great escape brothers doing better than me I'm in a hurry worry what if they forget about me I'm just another number nothing when the check will bounce See I went moving for money but there's nothing but debt around me So when the rest have found me bugging in With your helmet here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's like you're 85. No, I gotta go like this. See? I shut myself up here. If I have my helmet on, I don't fit. Yeah, of course. This is how you get I do like this seat. Isn't that nice? Yeah, definitely. Shout out to Ultra Shield. Beautiful, beautiful seat here. Tight Clan 2. Let's Powder see. coated. Let's see the helmet, please. Okay. You might have to help me strap in. I will. No, no, not Matt's. Oh, I like that. I fucking do. I, I just like struggled to put my own Hans on it. Immediately. Yeah, it feels better, doesn't it? This one's too tight. Do you think so? Um. Either one needs to be tightened. Or one needs to be loosened. Because, yeah, one's tighter than the other one. Yeah. They're just not even. It, I can feel that. But right. Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, it feels really nice. Like it. And then... It feels comfortable. And then, oh, my God, I need to get out of the car. Quick release. Simpson. Like that. Yeah, it feels nice, don't it? Definitely. So it's not pulling you 
like on your collarbone as much either. No, not at all. Or pushing it into my chest. Right. No. Yeah. See, we here at the Forge and Dirt Racing Team take safety very seriously. So that's why we're doing this. What'd you drop? Uh oh. One of the earpieces. Oh no. We'll find it. We'll find it. I think it's a pretty good view out of there. I'm pretty comfortable. Right? You get sleep in that seat. I'm a little bit shorter than you, too. I, can, I don't know. I feel like I'm at the same level, even though your seat's a little higher than mine. I feel like I'm at the same level in this car as I am in my car, though. I feel comfortable. I yeah? Do. Yeah. So you can drive that if if necessary? Oh, I can drive anything. <laughs> if necessary. This is how old men get out of their sprint cars. Just don't fall down. Oh, you made it. It's 4 a.m. Yeah, so the shop night's gonna have to come to an end here soon. But for anybody wondering what the next steps are for us here, for my car specifically, because these two are in an entirely different position, but for my car specifically, this thing, this Al Parker needs to get one, the hard card figured out here, get all that stuff done, two, get that thing broken in and dynoed. We want to get this thing to a chassis dyno. Uh, guy up here. Should start doing them around the 1st of April. Um, so I'd like to get this thing on that dyno. Uh, and then it's pretty much just time to hit the track. I mean, it just, we're a month out right now from the first show at Cedar Lake, a little under a month actually. So, now these cars, this engine, Mikey's engine, was on the block today. That thing's getting prepped. Refresh, right? And Hopefully then midweek, next week. Yeah. And then yours After that. should be on the block next weekend. So hopefully the first week of April, these things are gonna be put together or getting put together. And then we're gonna have three cars here. They're going to be ready to race. And then it's off to Cedar for these two. Hopefully. Weather permitting. Weather permitting. Weather permitting. I think the weather's going to be beautiful, though. Hopefully. The Lord's got to bless us after a terrible winter, right? Like I was telling Mike before, it's very real now. Like, it's not just a conversation on the phone or thinking about it at work or whatever like this is actually gonna happen now so yeah butterflies nerves all those things they're here see you soon sweetheart